Magic Commons and Tinkerwell allow you to quickly dump out variable contents or even call intermediate method calls with a very special Magic Commons syntax. So let's see how that works. Sometimes when you run code, you want to dump intermediate values. So for example, here we first generate a random integer, and then we are going to do something with a collection of users. Now, if we want to dump out this random int, of course, we could just write dump random int, but sometimes that's a little too much or just gets in the way of our code. So here's where magic comments come kind of into play. So you can just add a special comment syntax like this. And now when you run the code, we get the result of the expression where we added the comment as an inline statement right next to the comment that we wrote. So now every time we rerun this code, we get the resulting random integer next to our comment. You can also do this within loops. So for example, here we are going to iterate over all the users in the collection and then do something with the user. And if we want to get the result of this method, all we have to do is add a magic comment here, run this, and we get the results right next to the comment. Notice that for each user, we get the comment comma separated next to it. You can also use magic comments to measure the speed of your code. So you can add a special comment syntax like this. And now when you run the code, you will measure the time that it took every time your code hits this special comment. So let's run this. And now, as you can see, as we have four users in our collection, we now get the time that it took for every iteration that we visited this comment. Another really cool feature of Magic Commons is that you can also dump out intermediate method calls. So what does this mean? Let's say that we are going to loop over this user collection, but we also want to dump out the count of our users. Usually you would have to add the user collection to a temporary variable and then dump out the count of this collection before you then iterate over it. With Magic Commons, you can all do this in line. So Right next to this user all method, we're going to add a magic comment. And within this magic comment, we basically evaluate the count method on the user all result. So now when we run this, right next to the comment, we get the return value of the count method. And of course you can do this with any kind of method that you want to call. So for example, if we want to return the keys of our users, we just use the keys method, run this, and then we get the result right next to our comment.